They run inside burning buildings and respond when there is an emergency. Business as usual is not business as usual anymore. Because first responders have a new challenge, being on the front lines of the coronavirus pandemic. We're all concerned, right, about our health, our welfare, our families, things like that. But they continue to respond at a time when the rest of us have been directed to shelter in place. Am I going to catch this because I'm working in this profession? And two, am I going to spread this to someone that I come in contact with? The Boise Fire Department has put in protocols that start with a COVID-19 symptoms check. Firefighters have their temperature taken, and this happens before and after every shift. They've also canceled multi-company training scenarios. It's their way of social distancing. We want to stay at our in our fire station just like you should stay in your house and limit that cross exposure from even from a station to a station as much as as much as we can. But when a call comes in, firefighters and Canyon County paramedics respond. But before they do, crews put on M95 masks, eye protection, and gloves. We're not used to doing that on every single call. It's a pain in the neck. So what can we as the public do to help during this unprecedented time? Some systems have seen the increase in non-emergency calls, which reduces our ability of our first responders to respond to those true emergency calls. So save 911 for emergencies. 911 dispatchers are helping first responders be prepared by asking about COVID-19 symptoms. And if they hear red flags, responding crews will also put on face shields and gowns. I would tell the public, be patient with us because yes, before we make contact with you, we are going to put on this protective equipment, which might delay us by a minute or so. But the best thing people can do for our first responders is help slow the spread of the coronavirus. The biggest thing, and it's the common message out there, right? Stay at home. But we're lucky. We have heroes in our community who are willing to help, even if it puts themselves and their families at risk. They're just an amazing group of people, every single one of them, not just the ones that work for our agency, but everyone that's working in EMS, in the fire service, at the hospitals, healthcare, anything like that. Thank you, and I know you're making a huge sacrifice. We'll get through it and be stronger for it. Steve Dent, six on your side.